us from today. Somebody under the sound of my voice will know that truly he or she is serving a big God. Amen. 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 Because after you leave this place, you will discover that all the battles you have been fighting, all the challenges you have been passing through, all the frustration, the setback is no more existing in your life. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. It's no more existing. Favor from east, north, west, and south will begin to flow in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. That is why I used to tell you people that it is always good to seek the face of God in the place of fasting and prayers. Yes, sir. Because when you fast and pray, you build your spirit man. Yes, sir. Your spirit man becomes more stronger, more stronger, more stronger every day. And there are some challenges that used to overcome you. Oh, there yes. are some challenges you used to, over, to battle with and they disgrace you. But as you build your spirit man, your spirit man becomes more stronger. Oh, yes. And you begin to challenge all the challenges. Amen. You begin to overcome all the battles. Oh, yes. And you begin to see victory in your life. Oh, yes. And you stand and testify that this is what God has done for me. Oh, Are you yes. getting? Oh, yes. There is a particular testimony coming to you that you are not expected in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I'm not asking you, I'm telling you. Because oh, yes. one thing on the mountain is that when we are speaking on the mountain, oh, yes. we speak with boldness and we don't stress. Oh, yes. Because we know that we know that we are we are waiting on God. We are not waiting on man. Oh, yes. If you wait upon my man, we fail you. Oh, yes. But if you wait on God, God can never fail you. Oh, yes. And I've come to announce to you your God shall show up. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Your God will show up. Amen. In that area which you are passing through, in that area, I say God will show up in the name of As I was saying, I said the first thing you need to focus on first is your spiritual life. There is nobody that has ever seen the face of God and the spiritual life of that person remain the same. Oh, yes. If you start to study your Bible, you will see from the Old Testament right up to the New Testament. How the prophets in the days of the old, they seek the face of God. Prophets like Moses, Elijah, Elisha, and the other prophets, Jeremiah. All of them were the prophets who understand what it means to seek the face of God. Yes, sir. All of them were the people who understand what it means to seek the face of God. Oh, you yes. may say, man of God, I'm not a prophet, I'm not a servant. But I've come to tell you, as a Christian, you must be able to understand what it means as to seek the face of God. Because He is your God. Oh, yes. Amen. Amen. 